Hello everybody, uh, this will be another video about this Nakamichi 682. I was working a little bit more. I found that I forget to replace one small minor correction for the frequencies above 15 kHz. So I removed it and did a final tuning. So now this deck uh, records in place like, like new. Uh, this currently TDK MA tape installed and with this tape this deck uh, does uh, very very good results so let's do calibration just for the case it's fine size mode adjust levels for this tape done now let's check so recording 400 gears zeros 15 kilogears zeros I adjust it uh, so for example left channel this is the maximum so I can get way way higher right adjusting bias and uh, on this channel we have just a little bit difference very minor again I can go way way higher okay uh, I, so now we have everything adjusted. I'm turning off the embedded generators, and here is a white noise. And let's do frequency sweep and see how it will record on minus 20 decibel. And it's currently tape playing, as you may see here. We're recording. Results are very, very good. This tape or MA is a brighter, so I've tried Metal XR tape. This has no this bump in the middle. Oh, sorry, I have levels. I was recording music. I had not adjusted levels. Levels are higher than I, I need. So let's, let's reduce levels to zeros. I, Okay, and I need to put output. Uh, yes, because I was listening on headphones, so now we have zeros. Right. Now it should be, should be perfect. Uh, let's start again. Sorry for that. But music recording was really, really well. There is no difference between source and tape. The only thing which is uh, a little bit missing uh, is uh, capacitors are not new. And uh, like uh, comparing to the decks I have with replaced audiographer grade capacitors, I'm missing a little bit on bass and like uh, overall clarinet, but it's so minimum. You may check my video with uh, comparison of Sony 682 and 680 and you may, may hear what I'm talking about I, you see 18, 19, 20 kilogears easily with a little bump in the middle but it's because of the tape itself uh, with different tape it's uh, more flat so now minus 10 decibel and even minus 6 it does a pretty good job Already, I see a minimal change on the left channel. All right, let's see what we will get. And it's minus 10 decibel. Great results, 15, 16, <laughs> 17 kilogears minus 3. To, to minus 10 level. I now minus 6. Oh, recording. You see the levels yourself. 
it's on low frequencies it's, it shows a little bit lower now it will get to minus five here minus six when we get closer to 80 80 gears you see uh, uh, here is the levels we record in here goes pretty well so Nakamichi decks can record well above 12 kilohertz even on the high levels so as you may see it's just a little bit difference in the bias we can adjust it but uh, minus six we get up to 15 kilohertz and it's it's pretty great so that's why sound of Nakamichi's everybody like so we may try a different tape if you like uh, let's do metal xr tape let's do calibration first levels will be different so this tape has a uh, uh, much higher levels comparing to tdkma so you see it's adjusted it's between two and three decibels Now let's check uh, bias. 400 gears we have level. Uh, 15 kilogears. You see, Sony tape is different. We need to reduce bias a little bit for a couple of decibels to make it even. Right here. Okay. I can still can go much higher, but let's make it proper. All right. Now turning off generator and let's do frequency sweep on minus 20. So it's going up. You will see that with this tape the bump will be significantly less than this TDKMA. So Sony tapes are better done like comparing to the TDKMA. They, they are not so bright. Uh, see, again, like sensitivity of one two decibels on this indicator is a different. I may adjust left channel just a little bit to make it higher. Because we're using high precision digital tools now <laughs> to measure. Let's see how it will perform. And you see it goes really, really, really well. And it's tape playing. 20 kilogears easily. Right. And you see a little bit of a higher bias put the needed. And now I'm switching to the source, so you may compare with the source signal from this deck and like to see the differences yourself. It does really great job. So this deck is perfect. Okay, as you may see, like it will be just a little bit brighter when you listen into the tape, but I was not able to audible any differences. All right, thanks for your time. Nice deck, good results. See you in my next videos. Bye-bye.